Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is the first Wonder Woman video on my channel and I hope you enjoy. The cheetah is Wonder Woman's second greatest enemy and my favorite one. There's been multiple different cheetahs throughout the character's history. Cheetah is an underrated character in DC Comics and I hope to see more with Cheetah after Wonder Woman 84 comes out. Cheetah first debuted in Wonder Woman issue 6, titled Wonder Woman and the Cheetah, featuring the first woman to call herself Cheetah, Priscilla Rich. The first Cheetah, Priscilla Rich, is a stage girl in a magic stunt show. Priscilla is jealous of Wonder Woman, so she ties her hands together for an escape trick with chains and her magic lasso. While in the tank, she breaks down and releases that someone on stage must have done this to her. But Rich gets away with it after the show, while Mr. Darling is putting away his money, Rich and Darling are planning on going to the Jungle Club, but then Wonder Woman comes in and now Darling ditches Rich to go to the 400 Club with her, leaving Rich. When Priscilla goes back to her home, she looks in the mirror and finds herself looking at like a cheetah, talking back to her. The mirror version of her tells her to go after Wonder Woman. The cheetah then follows Wonder Woman to where she is staying in the city for the night. When Wonder Woman's asleep, she enters with a knife to kill her, unsuspecting in her sleep, but then decides to wait to make her death more painful. So since Priscilla knows where Mr. Darling puts his money, she robs him and blames it on Wonder Woman. Having no reason to suspect she's lying, the police then want Wonder Woman. While Wonder Woman stumbles upon the cheetah trying to kill Mr. Darling and then they fight each other. Cheetah tries to escape on top of the buildings she set on fire, but she accidentally falls in and apparently dies. But a while later, Priscilla Rich shows up and meets Diana Prince, making Wonder Woman assume she was wrong and Miss Rich isn't Cheetah. But when Priscilla Rich is in her room, her Cheetah personality is taken from the mirror again and decides to quickly bring the Cheetah back. The Cheetah kidnaps the two women who were with her and now she's going to use them as bait and dresses them like zebras, the prey of a Cheetah. Near midnight, the Cheetah sneaks into the Queen's Palace and steals the Grey, which she does herself. Her strength augmented, the cheetah kidnaps the queen, meaning to rule all of Paradise Island. The cheetah is now attacking Paradise Island and has some members captured. Wonder Woman shows up at the end and it's an amazing battle between her and her new foe, the cheetah. The cheetah gets unmasked as Priscilla Rich and begs to become an Amazon to control her secret self. The cheetah had a much of a more interesting and dark origin story than I suspected, and I loved it. The villain makes the hero, and knowing this, makes Wonder Woman's early days seem much more interesting. Saying that, there were some funny moments, but then again, it was realistic. I mean, her cheetah costume is her floor rug. Cheetah wasn't messing around at all here. She was dragging people by the hair and actually uses a gun instead of having superpowers. Actually, she doesn't even have superpowers here. It was really cool to read, and everybody can enjoy reading this because it was fun and interesting. For a Wonder Woman comic, this goes everywhere with her relationship to the public, Steve Trevor, and Paradise Island. This has Cheetah go for the gold, attempting to kill the queen. The best thing about the Cheetah is her character gets better in the future, more bloody, and greater fights with Wonder Woman. I give this issue a 10 out of 10. It was lovely. The Cheetah is definitely a supervillain who I can't wait to see on the big screen in Wonder Woman 84. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys, and have a good day.